19 men in this second and final heat. Yonikoski will be in this heat, as will Pat Velder, who once again needs to work his way out of a gigantic hole. Now the good news for Vellner is that he did it in event number one, so he has plenty of time left, 14 more events that we know of that he can make up that ground, but the big number we gotta look at is nine events. Nine events is when we cut down to 30. Nikoski stalling right out of the gates. He is in dead last right now on the sled pull. He was struggling with those straps. Koski in the leader's jersey and the red shorts. Now for Koski is don't panic because yes, you started late, but it was a technical glitch. It was an equipment error. It wasn't it had anything to do with your fitness. So don't panic and try to catch up to the field. There's plenty more left coming for room for Koski to make up. Royce Dunn was one of the first men to the pig and he is mauling that thing. No surprise there. One of the biggest and strongest athletes in this field of athletes here on the men's side. Five flips here on the pig, and then it's on to the rings for those first set of 12 muscle-ups. And Royce Dunn is done <laughs> with the pig, and he will be the first man to the rings by a mile. And this is the tale of two events within the event. We started with heavy, odd object weightlifting. We've already done two monostructural to start the morning, and now we move into this triplet between two weightlifting movements and really one gymnastic, but two different versions of the gymnastics, starting with these 12 ring muscle-ups. Royce Dunn making his fourth career appearance at the games. He's appeared in the team competition twice, twice as an individual's best finish. 34th as an individual as we look at Cole Sager who currently sits in second place in this heat. Time to beat belongs to Sam Cornoyer, 809.71 seconds and this portion of the event is where Cornoyer was really able to separate himself from the pack. Now you, what it, you don't want to do is look at 12. For all of these athletes, 12 is nothing. That's 12 in your gym, maybe with lower straps, maybe with not, I don't know, 36 more, 30 plus reps to go after these 12 because we still have a long way to navigate. 42 total muscle-ups, or 48, I'm sorry, muscle-ups left in the middle here. Pat Velder in lane seven. The gray tank top is onto his bar muscle-ups. He is in the lead. That is huge for Pat Velder because once again, he is way back on the overall leaderboard after finishing in the bottom third of the opening event. You're thinking about an event that should be good for Vellner. It's one that has this volume of muscle-ups in the middle. He's one of the best athletes in the field when it comes to ring muscle-ups and especially bar muscle-ups. Now, what you don't want to do is try to make up all that time and all those points in one single event and maybe get outside your game plan. Royce Dunn on the left of your screen was the first man to the muscle-ups, but now Pat Vellner has overtaken him through 31 repetitions. The leader's name at the top of your screen will be highlighted in red. Velder finished 35th in event number one. They're going to do 12 facing one direction and then turn around and face the other. And we saw this in the same in heat number one is you're going to have two different athletes, well, really three. You got your strong athletes, you got your gymnastics, and you got guys that are good at everything, like your old Matt Fraser. So he's not here, so we got some new athletes to look at. But you're going to see a lead change most of the time here in the middle with that high volume set of ring and bar muscle ups, different than what you would have coming in with the heavy sled and the heavy pig. Pat Velder has made the turn back down the field through 38 reps, chalking his hands. Jorben Gubison has moved into second place. He's now in a fight with Adrian Moonweiler for that position. Lazar Zukic, who finished second in event one, and Jeff Adler in the top five in this heat. 8.09.71 seconds, the time to beat from Sam Cornwayer. And we saw Sam do sets of four in heat one, and Fikowski with sets of three. Vellner has been doing sets of six. Now, that looks great in the middle part of the bar muscle-ups, but we said it's going to come down to these 12 ring muscle-ups, and it's not to, be, not to overstate the challenge it is to having long strap rings. It means your, your action on the rings is not as much because that power gets dissipated through the length of that strap. Velder now with a no rep on his second set of 12 ring muscle but continuing to work. He is in the lead ahead of Jorben Gubinson and Jeff Adler, and then Jason Smith out of South Africa is there as well. 
in the fight for the lead. Belner through 47. Jason Smith has now moved up to the rings. And Saxon Panchik onto the rings. He's on the right side of your screen. Made that Gubinson, I believe that's Bjorn Gubinson in the white part. So he's on the ring muscle up. And Pat Belner. Belner should have one set left, at five reps to go. And that's that's getting real close to being able to do that in one, one set. And, and you look at that first no rep he got, is it drastically will change your game plan? I know it's only 12, but if you plan to go 6-6, six, six, knowing you don't have a 7-6 in you with that first no rep. Four to go for Pat Velder. He's trying to chase down fellow Canadian Sam Cornway because Belder needs points right now after finishing 35th, and he is now off the rings with two to go. Yonikoski has moved up after struggling on the sled early. Koski starting to put some pressure on Belder. As is that man, Bjorn and Carl Gubitz, and Belder threw 55, and now on to the pig. Now the second five pig flips feel and look much different than the first five because they didn't have those 48 muscle ups to blow your arms up going into this two flips down for pat belder three remaining and that's back onto the sled and pull that thing across the finish line 510 pounds on the pig and once again the first time we've seen it here in madison the second time we have seen this implement since 2015. What's nice for Velner is velner has got long arms, so that allows him to have a bit better, more leverage going in. And he also, not only is he great at muscle ups, but he has one of the best deadlifts in the field of men. So this is a good bounce back event for Velner to really capitalize on his strengths and his skill. Pat Velner into the sled. Time to beat upper left hand part of your screen. Velner's got more than a minute to get inside that. The battle for second is between Scott Panchik Yonikoski, Bjorvin Carl Gumanson, and Jason Smith. Roy Stun back onto the pig, and here goes Pat Velder. I know we talked about not getting cut after nine events, but Velner's not here just to make cuts, right? He's here to make history as one of the, the next to be on top of the podium that's not named Matt Fraser over the last five years. And Pat Velner is gonna go from worst to first. 100 points for Pat Velner. Let the comeback begin. Here comes Scott Panchik. Jason Smith is in the gray, and Jason Smith is really gaining ground on Scott Panchik. Scott better look around, because he did the same thing this morning at the dock, where he got out sprinted in the last 10 yards. Panchik now stepping on the gas, and Smith is trying to catch it. Panchik with a slight lead. Panchik is in just ahead, I believe, of Jason Smith. Here comes Gima Harros. He is across. And now Bjorman Carl Gubinson. Koski on the far right taking a big break there in the middle. Koski is now surrendering position here in this event as Bjorman Carl Gubinson is across. Koski trying to hold off. I believe that's Lazar Zukic in the black. Saxon Panchik is on the sled, as is Cole Sager in the tank top. Saxon without the shirt on. Sager is in, right behind Panchik. So the younger of the Panchik brothers in this competition finishes out his event, and there is Cole Sager. Less than three minutes to go before we hit the time cap, and now more men starting to work their way across the finish line. We saw Royce Dunn finish as well. Adrian Moonweiler, the top of your screen, is in. And now Baden Brown has come across. 
And Chandler Smith at the far end of the floor is trying to hold off. Jeff Adler, Smith will do it. Adler is in, or make that Alexander Elin, pardon me. That was close. But Pat Vellner needed 100 points and got 100 points and smashed the time to beat by more than 20 seconds. Jason Hopper is towards the back of this heat. Wow. You think about the athlete that Jason Hopper is, is that you know he's an anaerobic athlete. He has that football background. This is something with this power output you should see, but how is the proficiency on the gymnastics? And that's the beauty of the balance within this test and this particular event. Yeah, the odd object, heavy weights, sleds, that pig is so heavy. But then again, you have to have the endurance and the stability and the stamina on those muscle-ups in the middle. That's Augustin Raquel May, and earlier it was Jeff Adler who was in the battle with Chandler Smith. Raquel May is in. Alexander Elin, the bottom left of your screen, trying to come across, and it's Jason Hopper, who was so impressive at the Mid-Atlantic CrossFit Challenge, winning in dominant fashion there, had high hopes coming into the, the games, but so far, the first two events for him, not going as planned as Hopper is in, and all 19 men in this heat get in inside that 12-minute time cap, but no one does it more quickly than Pat Velder, the only man in this event to go sub-8, 7.42.42 seconds, finished 35th in event one. Time to start digging, and he picked up a huge chunk of his...